Okay, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. My name is Jen and I'm going to be jumping right into a very unique reading I'm doing. It's going to be a version of the 18 card spread. Six questions, six cards, and we're going to have you, how you're feeling about your person. Okay, this will be your person's deck. I will then look into how they're feeling about you and how they're feeling about the karmic. Okay, so it's kind of a three-part reading. I'll save the karmic for the end and um, how you're feeling about this person and how they're feeling about you. Okay, let's see what happens. So first, whoa, okay, so this is the first overall energy um, for you from your cards here. It's the tower. It's a 16. We are on the 17th. It's really interesting. Something may have happened just yesterday. Um, you may have, ha have had a breakthrough, a change in your situation. I mean, there's actually no home in this tower, Um so it doesn't have to have been something so drastic and bad. It may actually have been a change for the better. But the overall energy for you right now is the tower. Okay, so let's set this aside and let's get the message. I'm going to grab six cards, how you're thinking about your person, feeling about your person, feeling about the situation. Do you want to make it work? The overall energy and outcome energy okay so let's see what comes up here so how are you the viewer thinking about your person right now we have the nine of cups it's actually a really positive energy i think you've kind of released your wishes to be honest i think you're feeling very good i think you're just like what come what may whatever's meant to come in will come in um, I see this treasure here. Maybe you found a treasure within yourself and it's just, uh, you have a positive vibe. I mean, this is about how you think about your person and you are getting the nine of cups. You don't have a bad thought in the world about them. You're too happy. Seriously. So that's a really great start. Now, how are you feeling about this person? Let's see. The Ace of Wands, very telling energy, very knowing energy. Once again, um, it comes back to this positive thinking. New beginnings will come my way with this person. I have so much passion for them. There's no way that this is ever going to burn out. Um, love, you know, because it is Leo energy and that is all about love. It's also Sagittarian and Aries energy. It's like strength, determination, Um it's a beautiful vibe you got going on in regards to your person. So how are you feeling about the situation, okay? Page of Wands. You're ready for a new beginning in this situation, definitely, with the Ace of Wands next to the Page of Wands. Um, and there's this throwing everything up in the air and not having expectations. You're really having a positive vibe. And like I said, nothing is going to get in your way. I actually feel with this type of energy, you will have something very good uh, coming for this. Okay, so let's see what else we get. Do you want to make this work? We have the Queen of Cups. And like, to be honest, <laughs> I keep on hearing come what may, come what may. Um, it's like even the hand energy with her hands up. Do you want to make this work? You're like, it's out of my hands. I'm allowing this. Of course, I want my love of my life to come in. Of course, I have feelings for this person, but this is not my, uh, you know, like, it's not your job. Something like that. You've released so much and it's such a good vibe for this. Okay. So near future actions you may be taking in regards to this connection. Six of Wands. Kind of just shining your light, lying to no one, uh, not showing everything, being a bit mysterious, but also very, look at the flame burning next to you. Think of the regular six of wands, right? For me as a reader with the regular six of wands, I always notice the way the horse, the beautiful white horse 
has squinted eyes, and it's like the horse knows that the rider is deceiving the crowd watching him, okay? Here I feel like you are deceiving no one. You are hiding nothing. You are standing strong, proud. Um, I mean, there's nothing to hide, but you're also not showing everything. It's very interesting. Um your near future actions are to focus on what you want, what you desire in another way besides this person, either in a community way, um, in a work, in a career, entertainment. Maybe some of you have started some sort of like an account of something like um, not like, you know, Instagram or fans only because look at the fans here. It's like you're only giving your energy to people or things that appreciate you. That's what your your next uh, move is. It's not really about this person so much. It's just about you becoming a new you. So what is the last message of this? It's really special. And we have the magician. It's number one. And you know what I like about this? is I'm getting this message is like, you're done with the fool's energy. You've already taken that leap. And I said, there's a lot of leaping energy, right? You've already taken that leap. You are now in charge of this. You get to decide where this goes. This is a very powerful message for you. So, oh my gosh, guys, this card just moved. I'm not even joking. It's very weird. Oh my gosh, it's the Ten of Cups. Because I have your deck over here. Sorry. I have your deck over there and it literally like this like went out guys that's been a while since something like like that has happened um okay so once again another message i'm going to tell you which was actually on the singles reading i think it's for everyone moving forward in this new stage of love whether it be continuing or brand new is to keep some stuff to yourself just you know when you want something you work on it and you don't announce it um, to everyone. Okay. Like there's something that just remember to keep some things to yourself, but it looks like you're going to have the power to do whatever you want here. It's your choice. Okay. So let's look into your person now and see, I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful, I'm shocked um, message here. So I'll just overlay the cards. So we're asking about how your person is wow, um, thinking, feeling, and all of this about you right now. So the overall energy for your person, I mean, no doubt about it and no coincidence, Eight of Pentacles. It's about work, right? And it's interesting because in this Eight of Pentacles, it looks like on one side there's spiritual bowls and incense, and on the other side there's books and pens and other things. Um, I'm opening also here at the three of swords, which is an ongoing energy I thought had kind of gone away. Seeing the nine of swords, clearly it hasn't for someone's masculine here or your person. Okay. So your person's overall energy is um, almost a bit about making a choice, focusing on work. Looking at that candle, you know, there's, I, I don't know what that may be, like wondering about the divine feminine or wondering about you, the viewer, I'm trying to figure out what to do with that energy as well. Because your person may be more work focused, money focused, material focused. Okay. So what is your person thinking about the situation? Okay. Sorry. We have the outcome. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. What is your person thinking? Seven of Wands. Your person heavily is thinking about this situation, about a lot of things. You know, with the Seven of Wands, I just see this person trying to just be peaceful, trying to figure things out. I feel like constantly getting poked at. Um, so sometimes they may not really have too much time to figure it out, but they have a feeling within them. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a sun shine within their, 
there it's like a gut instinct. And remember I mentioned right here, the sun, didn't I? I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's a very similar image um, that you probably can't see, but it's, it's a vibe. You guys are feeling each other. So your person is thinking like, why am I, why do I have this feeling? Why, when I'm alone, do I think of my person so much? You know, it can't just be nothing. Okay. Feeling. Let's see what the feeling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it can't just be nothing. Um, okay. I have to say your person is actually feeling your energy. You now have the tower. And this is the nice thing about having these card decks are all the same here. Um, so we're getting to pick up exact en energies. And it's literally showing in this person's feelings, they're feeling your overall energy. And remember, you've had some sort of a breakthrough or a change in your life. This is not about an actual home falling apart or anything like that. Um, this person is feeling the strength of you, the light from within you, the releasing something you've released or changed. This person is feeling your fire. Wow. Very interesting. Um, okay. What is this person feeling about the situation? Let's see. So about the situation, we have the six of wands. Um, it's a good card to feel about the situation. This person may see you on your stage, okay? This person may feel like this is not over. Um, this person may feel like everything is going to be okay. Once again, with the back facing us, maybe this trying to look like everything's okay, even for a moment. But they can't let it go, whether it be feelings, thoughts, or try to setting to set thoughts aside. Let's move on to the next question. It will get better. Um, <laughs> so does this person want to make it work? The king of swords. So like literally your person is heavy in thinking right now. And I feel like your person is watching you. Um, I do feel like this king of swords is watching you because, you know, this is your near future actions and your near future actions to appreciate yourself. Here we have a king of swords literally looking over here about how they're feeling about the situation. They're like, damn, I see this person's success. So does this person um, want to make this work? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're watching you. They're not saying anything. The sword is put away right now. So what are the near future actions of this person? We have justice. Here's the sword. And the sword is brought right up to the mouth level. Um, it's also showing a reflective energy. The near future actions can be this person taking a look at this and maybe bringing some balance to the situation. I mean, I'll leave it as simple as that. And what is the outcome? Very interesting. Wow, we have the Empress um, in the energy of the world because she has the world there. So what is the outcome? This is all about a new beginning. This is, <laughs> I just heard a surprise visit for some. The outcome is the Empress. If you relate to the Empress energy, then this is definitely saying the outcome is you. Um, the energies coming up are very fiery, loving Empressy Leo E energies. The outcome is a new beginning in love. And let's see what the top is of this one, though it didn't pop itself out. We have the temperance, which is uh, for me right now, it's actually very Cancerian energy, uh, like yin and yang, because of the sun and the moon, a divine connection, a healed soul, you know. So Let's move on for anyone that wants to know how this person is feeling about the karmic. Um, otherwise, bye for now. Uh, yeah, thank you for being here, okay? So we're going to see how your person is feeling about the karmic situation, the karmic, whatever that may be. Okay, so we've, we've got our first energy to pop out. Two cards came, and I do feel that they're very important. Uh, it's actually pretty unique, I gotta say. It's the world card and the king of cups in reverse. So how the energy is right now with your person in regards to the karmic is kind of like a closing out, an ending of a cycle, whether there was love involved or not. Um, that's interesting, right? 
Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, at the bottom of the cops, did I just see the devil sticking out? I don't know, but I see um, the Knight of Swords. It's almost like this person is kind of ready to run away, possibly. Anyhow, let's see what's going on for their feeling, or sorry, their thoughts. Okay, feelings. Feeling about the situation. Do they want to make it work? Near future, uh, most likely actions, and then overall energy or outcome, whatever, or I shouldn't say overall energy, the ending energy or outcome. Okay, so this person's thoughts right now are the hermit when it comes to the karmic. Okay, there is a cycle here with the world card and the king of cups in reverse. There is something closing out. It could actually be this year. Um, there could be, this could have began in September or some sort of... I mean, the number nine is, it's pretty interesting. It's here for the karmic and uh, it's just, it's all about almost being final. So this person is definitely deep in thought, your person about the karmic, um, wondering, I just feel like they're wondering, what do I do? Should I leave? Is it time? Can I do this? What will happen? But Having the energy of the Nine of Cups in reverse and the world, I feel like it's already happening. I feel like it's a very um, known energy going on there, that this cycle is closing out. There's no more love. Okay. So how is your person feeling about the karmic? We have the Ten of Cups. Wow. Now, remember, this energy is all about... The 10, the ending, the completion. There is love. And you know, there is love. I mentioned that because I said the King of Cups in reverse. Like it may have been a love situation. There may have really truly been some love, but it's over. It's completed its cycle. And that's why your person is in thought. It's like, why stay here? When all I do is think about how over it is instead of going here. When all I, I do is feel this person's energy and want to connect to them. Okay. How do they feel about this situation with the karmic right now? The strength card. I mean, it makes perfect sense because they have to put a lot of strength to hang in here. And interesting, right? Whoa, this is interesting. The strength card in this deck, I don't think you can see it, guys. Sorry. But below the girl, right around my thigh. Oh, no, right there. You can kind of see it. There's a sheep. Um, And the sheep for me represents, you know, like sheeple. People that are just doing things for the devil energy um, because of the way it looks or what it brings in. So how does this person feel about the karmic situation? I think that, you know, that they're hanging in there. They're trying to be strong. Whether it be for whatever reason, they're trying to be strong. They have a need to be strong to even be there. Okay, so do they want to make the karmic situation work? We have the star card. Now, this to me right now is very interesting. I'm getting the same simple energy of the hermit of a lot of thought. Um, this person is hanging on to the string, it's almost like a balloon. It's almost like they are going to make a wish and let that string go. I, I wish you could see better um, the imagery here, but how do they feel about the situation? It was a dream. It was a wish. It was definitely something they wanted, but I feel like they're ready to let that string go and see what happens. To be honest, it's like a balloon. And I feel if you're making a wish, right, you have to let it go like you have to give it out to to see if it's going to come back or or whatever, right? So I just feel like this person is ready to let this go. And the star card is a 17 equals number 8. I'm <clears throat> really getting that energy of the 8 of cups, right? Okay. So the near future actions for the karmic situation from your person right now. And look what we come back to. The Nine of Swords, it's very interesting because this is at the bottom 
of the deck for your person's energy, like your person's deck. I mentioned it, I hope. Um, right now, your person is going to continue to be in the exact energy that they actually are in, whether it's hidden or not. Another nine energy as well, right? Um, sorry, cards are falling here. So that's really interesting. Right now, your person... And look at this, the card underneath the Nine of Swords, wow, is the Fool card. It, it gets deeper, but I'm not going to. We're going to go here, okay? So what is the outcome, or, or you know, the, the final message? So we have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, what I get here is that this is showing root, or this is showing, I should say, seeds rooted, kind of, attached to this growth here. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is often an energy of, for me as a reader, investing in the situation or patience. There's a few different things. But as the, the overall energy outcome, um, final message card, I do feel that this person either has children or um, something that they have rooted there, right? And they will continue to water and nurture that because they have to. They've grown something here. It's only going to continue to grow. Um, so let's just say if it's a business, well, they're going to continue working on their business. I don't think that's the worst thing. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Um, it's needed. This is a, a responsible person. It does not mean that they cannot separate. But at this time, it's just showing them, you know, focusing on what they have built in that karmic situation um, and just making sure it's okay. It doesn't mean like, you know, this person looks like they're busy, but you still have to water the garden. It just is what it is, right? Um, let's see what the top card is. We, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, guys. So remember the bottom card? Um, I mentioned it looks like this person is running away, run, ready to run away, ready to leave, right? Running towards a motorcycle over here. So some, your person drives a motorcycle. We have an eagle here. The eagle obviously knows where, where it wants to go, what it wants. And at the top of the deck, we do have the Eight of Cups. So, and this is all about someone walking away. Um, the karmic situation, it looks like it's coming to a close here for this case. And um, there's a lot of closure energy, but it's still, you know, in the nine energy, not 10 yet. Certain things are 10, but we have to get everything in the 10 energy. Time to let go, time to walk away. Okay, so thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, sorry, my setup's a little different. I just wanted to be more comfortable today, and I, I'm just feeling very relaxed. Feel free to book a reading. I'm not doing same day today, uh, but tomorrow you can book a reading. Um, and yeah, just go to my website. That's it, guys. Thank you. I hope you're having a beautiful weekend. I, I like getting a Sunday message out for you, um, and I will timestamp this.